on fucking Mars. If the sky's your limit, then you'll never go far. Alright, what's up guys? Poison here, and I'm back. Now, usually when I do a discussion or I do any type of topic while recording, it usually has, like, um... A meaning behind it, in a sense, you know? I usually... Because it's something that happened. Um, today's discussion is just something that's been on my mind. Like, I don't know why. And this isn't something that would ever happen in real life. And, sorry, let me lower the audio back down. I It was burning. Or not burning, what the fuck? It was uh, super high. I saw that the, um... The voice was up in the red zone, basically, the whole time. That's how loud the microphone was set to. But, today, this is just something that's been on my mind for a long time. And... I can't ever see this ever coming true, um, but it was it's something I would do if money wasn't a problem. Like, if I was given all the money in the world and I'm told, hey, do whatever you want with this, but you have to help people out in one way or another, you know? Like, there's so many different ways I've thought about this topic, like how it could happen. You know, like, let's say the devil comes, let's say the devil's real and he's like, hey, um, I'll grant you one wish, you know? I would either ask for the ability to do anything, or I would ask, you know, for, like, anytime I play a video game, I could turn the video game money into real-life money, like, because then, think about it, I could play Payday 2, and I'd be rich, in, like, an hour, I'd have millions of dollars, you know, but, once again, I'm saying, this isn't a real thing, but this is just something I've wanted to talk about for a while, and it's just a topic of what I would, like, like I said earlier, what I would do if money wasn't a problem. Like, I was just given a bunch of money and I was told, hey, do whatever you want, you know? Um, I've thought about this and I finally figured out how to properly, like, word this to, like, what I would do. If I was just told, hey, here's money, do whatever the fuck you want, you know? I would probably rebuild shit. Like, you know, I'd probably buy, like, old cars, like, you know, destroyed cars. And I'd probably, like, rebuild them to, like, factory spec. Or I'd probably even, um, I'd probably even, like, you know, go to people who want to modify their cars and be like, hey, you know what? If you know what you want to do, I have the money, I will help you out, you know? I would just want to build stuff and give back to people, like, PCs. I would love to build PCs and, like, sell them, you know? Like I'm saying, in the sense of where I'm given unlimited money, I would honestly build PCs, like, high-end PCs, like, 1080 Ti's, uh, Ryzen Threadripper, like, high-end, stupid amount of money no one would ever want to spend, you know? But I would build these PCs, and I would sell them, like, hardcore reduced price, like, 30% off, or, 30% off, that doesn't sound right, like, 60% off, you know, like, 60, 70, hell, I'd probably even give away a few, like, you know? I just think it'd be cool to build stuff and just, you know, give back to people who want said items, like, you know? And it wouldn't help me out much, honestly, because think about it. If I'm going to be spending all this money and I'm giving it away at, like, a huge discount, I'm not going to be getting any money out of this. But once again, in this hypothetical situation, I would have all the money in the world, so it wouldn't even matter how much money I take a loss on. And I don't know why. I don't know what caused me to think about this, but this has honestly just been on my mind for forever now. Yeah, this topic has just been on my mind for a long time now, and it's just like, I don't know why, like, once again, this is never going to happen. Even if I won the lottery, this wouldn't be possible, because, you know, eventually lottery money would go away, like, it would be spent. I wouldn't be able to, you know, afford all this. But, like, you know, of course I would still spend money on me, but I'm saying, like, I would probably turn this into a job, and, you know, the money really wouldn't do anything, like, I would just, like, I call it a job but this would be more like a hobby of you know hey you know i have this money to spend i want to... where's my fucking lancer yeah it's like hey i have this money to spend but i'm gonna spend it on other people you know who could use it more like you know how like let's take a look at cars real quick and like i would also build guns too and sell them back to the gun store or, you know donate them to the gun store like you know build custom firearms you know but let's take a look at this in, like, the sense of cars. Like, cars a lot of people like in the tuner scene are, um, like, 240SXs. A lot of people love 240SXs, but the problem is a lot of teenagers love them, and they like to make them into drift cars, which means, hey, you know, they tear the interior up, they, you know, they crash while trying to drift, they destroy the car. I would love to buy 240SXs and restore them back to, like, factory setting. 
you know, like, the way they came out of the factory without fucking, um, you know, them being crashed, them being torn apart, like, them being good, usable cars. Is no one gonna pick up Kate? Is it Kate? No. It's, uh, God, I don't remember his name. Delton? Dalton? I don't remember. But yeah, like, I was, I don't know why, it's just, you know, I'm an asshole, honestly, I've said it before. I'm not, like, the most helping person, but this would just be something cool to do, you know? Because I like messing around with stuff. But, yeah, like, I was saying, I'm not, like, the most helpful person in real life, honestly. But I would still love to do this to help people out. Like, because, no, it wouldn't be much to me. And, like I said, I'm just someone who likes to mess around with stuff. I like opening stuff up and, you know, destroying it. So how do I start the wave? That's how. Yeah, it's just... Like I'm saying, this would never happen in real life, because, come on, Devil isn't real, he's not He's not going to allow me to sell my soul. You know, I'm not going to win millions of dollars. This is just a complete hypothetical situation, like, fantasy scenario, but, like I'm saying, usually when I have something I want to talk about, I talk about it, you know, it's my channel, I can talk about whatever I want on here. You know, as long as it doesn't break YouTube rules, but, I don't know, I just felt that'd be really cool to do. Like, I want to know, if you guys were given the, ugh. The ability to, like, you know, have unlimited money. You could do whatever you want. I just want to know, what do you guys think you would do with the money? I'm saying, I would definitely just rebuild shit. Either, like, you know, rebuild it to factory settings. Or even, like, custom build shit like people want. Like, you know, I have plenty of friends who want to modify their car. But they don't have the money, you know. If I was given unlimited money, I'd be like, hey, what do you want in your car? I'll help you out. You know, just buy it for them. You know, have them install it or... You know, it'd be even cool to help them install. But we're already coming up on the end of this video. It's going to be a little bit shorter than 10 minutes, but whatever. I'm going to take it to 10 minutes on this time, then we'll record another video for Friday. But let's see. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure what video I said in. I'm just going to say it again right here. Um, Oh, no. Uh, I thought it was going to pounce on me. You thought, bitch. Um, so, I'm pretty sure I said it on Tuesday's video. If not, I'm not, you know, I'm sorry. I don't remember if I did this topic, but, um, on to, like, e-juice, why I haven't bought in a new bottle of e-juice, why there hasn't been a new video out yet, is because, you know, I'm still trying to finish my current bottle of e-juice, because, you know, I'm pretty sure I talked about it already, but I just want to say it again. Um, yeah, I still have about, like, a good 40 milliliters left of my current e-juice right now. And I don't want to buy another e-juice because then that one will just sit there and it'll never be used. So I'm just trying to finish up my current one right now. Then I plan on buying um a new one. But yeah, so far just nothing's going on with the e-juice. I'm vaping like not non-stop, but I am trying to vape it so I can get rid of the juice. Still haven't, you know, it's not going down that much. Like I said in Tuesday's video, because I'm pretty sure that's where I talked about it. I go through about five milliliters of juice a week. So... Yeah, that's why I liked having Zapple Box, because the bottles were very small. But it's like, fuck, I had so many juices to do. You know, but I still might go back to Zapple Box later. Or find another subscription service. But Zapple Box is good. I had no reason to hate them. Despite other people having major problems with them, I never had a problem with Zapple Box. I always got good juices. I never got one that was like, ugh, this is disgusting. So, you know, I'll just have to see what's going on later on. After I finish this. Um, once you actually... Actually, no, we'll talk about it in the next video, because we're already at 10 minutes, but let's let's get to, through this wave real quick. But, um, I did purchase one subscription service, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's going to help out on the channel at all. It might have stuff to do with the channel later, but we're going to end it here. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.